and welcome everybody. I'm the Iron Pony and uh, today we're gonna do something uh, different. Um, because uh, sometimes I get some questions about uh, where do I uh, practice my music, what about my band and stuff, because I don't really talk about that stuff uh, on, my, on my Pony channel. So yeah, uh, today I got asked by my uh, drummer to uh, open our rehearsal room for him overnight because uh, he wanted to do something, work a little bit on his drumming and practice a little bit and I'm the only one with the key so I just thought okay I might as well just uh, lock up this room for him and leave the door open so he can practice a little bit over the week. And yeah I just decided yeah I might as well take you with me <laughs> and show you um, our rehearsal room because that's apparently something you guys are interested in. So, um, let me just do this here. Okay. Okay, so, this is it. This is all the equipment we need to make our band sound as good or bad <laughs> as it is. Um, this is our drum set, of course. Um, sometimes I just uh, actually like to play this one too. I'm not much of a drummer, but it's just fun to release some energy on this thing. Then this of course, this is my amp. It's a uh, line 6, uh, wait, what's the exact number? It's Spider Valve MK2 HD100. I know, it's a line 6, I know, I know, don't say anything, but this one actually has tubes and was designed by the good old Reinhold Bockner, so this is actually a pretty, pretty, pretty good hybrid amp. So then, what we got here is my trusty old Mesa Boogie 4x12 stiletto box cabinet, and this is actually pretty much, um, this is actually pro standard this is pretty much the best box you can you can get for for amplifiers and metal and yeah just recorded by a good old sure sm57 standard microphone um then we get some other stuff right here this is um our lead guitar players gear it's an angle of fireball i think this is a pretty 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 brutal machine and the fitting cabinet for this thing of course and here's some bass gear it's an Ampeg nothing better than Ampeg and a German Glockenklang box for 4x10 four this is actually a pretty nice pretty nice rack here it sounds killer with with the bass tone we can, we can get out of this you won't even believe it balls Okay, so this is our um, lounging corner, I guess. <laughs> we have two couches, um, a little table with a lot of beer, of course. <laughs> this is where we just relax um, after practice uh, and sometimes eat pizza just for, f uh, just for fun. If you and we also got a mini fridge because that's where we store all our beer. I, I personally, I don't drink, but my bandmates do and uh, if you have a mini fridge, that comes in handy very much. So yeah, the, there's a lot of drum equipment right here, a lot of new stuff a drummer just bought. And um, as you can see, this this room is very very well isolated. A lot of lot of foam on the walls everywhere, all around. So. Very noise cancelling in here. Very neutral sound in here. It wasn't always this way, but this is pretty awesome. The way it is. Hell yeah. So, these here are um, some of our very, 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 very old guitars. Um, <laughs> they, they were from the very, very beginning we started this band and they're barely even usable, full of rust and they're very, very, very cheap. Cheap ones like None of these uh, guitars is, uh, should be over two or three hundred bucks, and so yeah, we don't play them anymore. They're just hang here for decoration. Old flying V, our singer's old is G, our bassist's old 
uh, what's that, BC Rich. This guitar, this red one, I actually won one time because I caught a pick at a, at a concert and um, the prize was this guitar and I played it once when we actually had a gig with this band. So I played it um, in his in this band's honor, <laughs> but I never really touched it again ever since. This is our uh, old lead guitarist's um, first guitar that he does. He he abandoned guitar playing, unfortunately, because he was actually a pretty pretty good guitarist. And but yeah, um, he doesn't play guitar anymore, so we could just hang it in here. And this is this is also very very cheap like Ivanus copy you can't you can't really do anything with this stuff anymore all this old stuff makes me very nostalgic but you can't use this stuff anymore <laughs> and of course the guitar I've been working on in the last uh, live stream on this channel um, thanks for everyone who's watching this is it now, and it's so fucking black now. <laughs> you can barely see any th any any contours and any details because it's all matte black. But it looks killer. It looks really gothic and and doomy, and that's how I like it. It's still a pretty cheap guitar actually, but I just improved it a little bit with these new new pickups and. The even darker um, volume pots and I think plays actually pretty nice so let's check it out right okay let's uh, hear this thing in action <laughs>
Okay. Nice. Okay, so uh, you can we can really hear that uh, they are not as uh, as hot as uh, as the pickups I had installed previously. So because these are just uh, pretty cheap um, EMG copies and they're not even active so compared to all the other guitars I have of course they are not as as hot as I'm as I'm used to and but uh, they are not as muddy as the Seymour Duncan invaders I had in before so that's a big plus and actually they sound even though they are cheap copies they sound uh, actually pretty close to what I'm what I'm used to from from real EMGs so and these potties are pretty nice too <laughs> Okay, I guess that's it for today. Um, just turn this off here. All right. Okay. Well then, um, I just hope you had fun watching me today, and um, maybe you learned something about how this uh, <laughs> with with all this with all this band stuff. And I hope I could answer some of your questions. Um, if if you are on my Twitter, sometimes I post some uh, band stuff, you know. So if you have want to have a deeper insight, you can see stuff there. But f I think for now, just the few users who are actually interested in, in in the practical side of music with all the instruments and rehearsal rooms and spinning. <laughs> yep, I hope uh, I could I could show you a little bit that's interesting. So. Um, I guess that's all for today, and I will go home now and play some Counter Strike. I guess <laughs> enough guitar playing for today. So um, I will see you, I guess, with the next episode of MLP. And I hope you have a nice day and you learned something today. And see you next time. And goodbye. <laughs>